good morning. Today I'm test driving the Hyundai Genesis. I've just arrived here at First Motor Hyundai and I'm going in. So apparently I got I was able to get into a 2.0 turbo uh, fully loaded car. The steering wheel is leather. I would hope to assume. Uh, it has audio controls and uh, cruise controls. Uh, this is the side door. Everything is pretty solid, like you would find in in any Japanese car. The this is plastic, but it's kind of a good plastic. It's not one of the cheap ones. Uh, it's quite soft to the touch. Uh, this is an infinity system uh, which houses six discs and uh, is an mp3 player. Uh, it has an engine start button and these are the keys. And you could just... It looks very much like a Lexus. Um, there's a place where you could secure the uh, key there and that's about it I have uh, six sequential uh, gear here and the interior is black let's go off to see the exterior of the car I'm not too happy with the color but uh, the car does have Brembo brakes as you can see Alloy wheels, um, parking sensors, LED, is that LED? I can't tell, no, this is not LED. Alright, so that's the car, and I think these are Xenon headlights. Yep, these are Xenon headlights. You can see these are reflective ones. And that's the car as a whole. We're in the 2.0 turbo now. And from the start, we have a very nice car. brakes feel pretty solid the response is pretty good and the gear shifts in all the right times and you do actually have some control over the gears uh, we are here with uh, Muhammad Galal uh, Muhammad Galal who is a uh, fleet sales manager a fleet sales manager and he's going to tell us about the Genesis so what can you tell us about the car? Okay, first of all, this car uh, comes with two engines. Okay. Basically, the one we have here is uh, the 2.0 liter engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a turbocharged engine, uh, four-cylinder in line. Uh, the main feature is that this car is a rear-wheel drive. And we start from the outside. Main features, uh, we have 19-inch wheels. Okay. Of course, it's a coupe sports car. Mm -hmm. Four seater, not two seater. Mm -hmm. uh, and then <coughs> we go ahead for the driver's seat. Of course, it's a fully automatic car with a shift, uh, stick shift uh, manual automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, this car has a, C, a six CD player mm -hmm. with uh, ten speakers. Ten speakers. Ten speakers. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And it has a fully automatic uh, touch uh, air conditioning system. Okay. Airbags. How, how many airbags does this thing uh, have? One, two. It has eight airbags. Where are they? Okay. Two on the front, driver and passenger. Okay. Okay. Two on the side. Okay. And then side curtains, front and rear. Oh, okay. That's so basically, it has eight airbags. That's a lot. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fully equipped. The, the side mirrors are basically electronically folded. Okay, electrically folded. Do I have to push a button to do that? Yeah, there's a button here. 
okay. on the door. This button okay. allows you to to uh, ah, I close see. them. I see. To fold them. Okay. okay. And the wheels are uh, 19 inches. 19 inches, it? and they have actually different uh, size in the front and the rear. Okay. The front wheels are 225, 40, 19. Mm -hmm. The rear one is 245, mm -hmm. 40, 19. The, the lights are all Zenon lights. Okay. And if you want, it can come with the only projection lights, not Zenon. Okay. The or the normal projection lights. Okay. And they have this uh, uh, automatic leveler. Mm -hmm. It depends on the weight in the car, mm -hmm. okay, and the condition of the street. It levels and changes the height of the uh, illumination I see. of the light. Yes. Uh, as I said, this is an inline mm -hmm. four-cylinder. It directs the power to the rear wheels, mm -hmm. okay, uh, through a six-speed, uh, sorry, a five-speed automatic transmission with a 2.0 okay. and a six-speed 4D. Uh, 3.8, the 6 cylinders. Yeah, and the, the one equipped uh, on the uh, 6 cylinder is a ZF transmission case. Yes. Okay, this is what's so special about it. ZF basically are one of the best manufacturers of uh, transmission uh, uh, systems, and they basically, these uh, transmissions, they go for the BMW, Audi, and Mercedes. What, what, on some models. What, 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 is, what is it fitted on? Uh, it's fitted on the 5 Series, 3 Series, and the Audi A6, A6. and the Mercedes E-Class. So it's the same exact transmission? It's the same exact. Same. Mm -hmm. This is the turbo here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is basically RS turbo means racing sport. This is the new theme for Hyundai sports uh, engines. Okay. It's going to achieve 0 to 100 in less than 6 seconds. It's around 5.6, 5.7 seconds. Okay. So it's very fast. And what about the... This the one This one is around 7.2 seconds mm -hmm. for 0 100. Which is basically okay because it's only a 2 liter. Mm -hmm. It's quite decent. Yeah, it, is, it, is, it is. Does this have limited slip differential? Uh, yes, it does. All of them All of them. All of them so it's them standard. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's an option, but we provide it as standard here. We order all the cars with, li with limited slip uh, differentials. Mm. That's, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm done test driving. The Genesis 2.0 Turbo is actually a pretty fun car. I, I didn't see it coming. Rear wheel drive, strut bars, Stability control, Brembo brakes in a Hyundai. That is nice, just 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 nice. And it accelerates very well. Um, it's not a full sports car. The 2.0 Turbo is not a full sports car, but it does drive very much like one. It has stiff suspensions, it has uh, very firm brakes, but it does not give you the go power that you would demand from a, a sports car. But for an everyday driver, that's just more than enough. You can overtake easily, you can uh, start off the line very comfortably, and uh, it makes a pretty nice sound. I'm waiting to test the 3.8 uh, although they got some right now but I don't think they were ready uh, to have them on road they need to do some inspections and uh, some other procedures so they will call me again to test drive the 3.8 and I will go back and 